Hi, this is Linda from Stampin' Sister, uh, Linda, and um, I wanted to show you a new way that maybe you might not have thought of to use the uh, new paper pumpkin that was the August one, and this was um, just mailed out just recently this week, um, the August 2014. So I wanted to kind of show you some different ideas that I have. This is actually what you can make out of it. Um, you actually get four different cards, um, eight different um, uh, sayings that are cut out, hello, smile, thanks, and congrats, and also four small little cards, um, four um, small envelopes, and also four large envelopes that are like these pocket envelopes, which are really, really cute. Um, so I want to show you different ways that maybe you, could, you never thought of that you could use this. Um, one way is by taking just these little cards that come in this pack and this with the word smile and you can go ahead and outline it and then go ahead and color it in which is awesome or you can do reverse masking which I don't know if you see this on here but basically I just took one of these and I used a sponge or dauber and I used some crumb cake and you can get really cute little backgrounds with that so there again is the word smile on there so that's just one little suggestion um, another thing that I did is I went ahead and I took one of the envelopes here and I went ahead and colored it in. And how I did that is I took a bunch of the dots off of the, uh, the smaller dots for the package and I just flipped it over and I used again my sponge dabber and just colored it in with um, some strawberry slush and made these cute little dots across here. Then I just took one of the um, many little cutouts that they had in there and I went ahead and put it on here tied a little ribbon around it and just put that on there really really cute and then you can put one of the cards in there if you want or um, just simply uh, put a gift card or something in there and speaking of gift cards one I thought really cute idea was using this as your main card and again what I did is I took just one of the big cards that comes in the kit and I just cut it in half and then I actually cut it down even further and I'll show you I used those extra pieces as well and went ahead and just placed it on top of one of the little um, envelopes and then on the inside I took the second piece and I made a gift card holder out of it and all I did again was take one of those um, cut out dies and then you can just go ahead and stick your gift card inside of there and then you can write on the back because it's white so that is really really cute and then I used one of those little um, extra little enclosure things one of these little back button things and put it on the side so I thought that was kind of a cute idea again another way to use it again another way to use the the kit um, you do get the stamps in there which is awesome um, but you know sometimes I don't always like to use all the stamps but these particular ones I thought were really, really cute. Um, I love the sayings on here. It's your friend. Make today a good one. You are seriously amazing and to the best friend ever. So make today a good one. I thought, well, everybody needs some of them that. So, and they also give you this little dot here. So you can go ahead and make your own little polka dots around the background. And again, you get the little stamp as well, or uh, the ink, I should say. So I went ahead and just stamped the background cut one of the small mini cards that they have in there just cut that in half and then I can go ahead and just use that as um, a decoration for the front of my card another tip is if you're going to be mounting these on dimensionals and you want to also mount your little saying on dimensionals to make this height even you're going to use two dimensionals for the center and then just one on each side so that it lays flat. That was a tip from somebody else online. Um, I'm not sure who that was. I can't remember. But um, there's a few YouTube videos on that. Um, so that's a really cute idea. So now remember I told you I had one of these little cards that I had cut. And I had some papers left over from it. Which was the background on this card. And so what I did is I went ahead and I took the extra little pieces that were left over took another one of the cards, um, the cut out uh, die cut cards, put those little extra pieces behind here. Now it's not going to match exactly and it's going to have to be kind of put together, but the lines can line up together. You just have to play with it a little bit. And then again, this is going to be in the back of the card, so it really doesn't matter. And there you can go ahead and use that card as a background for something. 
the cutest one ever that I just love this idea is to make this little box and to make the little box what you do is you also get these little envelopes inside that are these and these are cute as a button I mean I love these little envelopes these little pocket envelopes that you could put the little cards inside of so that's actually to hold one of these smaller cards inside well instead of doing that you can take two of those both of these and put them together and make the box and I'm going to quickly show you how I did that um, so what you do is on the ends and these already come Stampin' Up! thinks of everything these already come with um, score tape along the sides that part you do need to cut off to make these sides even so all you simply do is you just cut off this piece of score tape to make these two sides even because this one's a little shorter obviously this one's longer and that's what this excess piece was from the other box so I just cut off that much on each side and then you can put those two boxes together you just have to put some more tape on it of course but they will fit together once those two pieces are cut off actually it goes like this and it will be even and then the bottom piece you just simply use the tape that's on there and you can tape it close together and I'll show you how I did that so that's the bottom then on the top what I did is I matched up where the holes were because these already have holes in them that Stampin' Up's provided on the die and I just went ahead and used one of my little buttons here that they provide you the smaller one and one of the brads I just stick the bread brad right through there and that is my topper and you can put a cute little gift inside of there so there's lots of amazing things you can do with these kits um, your imagination can run wild I mean there are just so many different ways you can do this um, again this was some leftover pieces that I had from doing another project I went ahead and just lined that up in the back. I did have to add a little bit of um, paper in the background, some Hello Honey, and then just a few of those little um, sequins that they give you, because they give you a bunch of sequins and a bunch of brads. So you have tons and tons of different ideas that you could do. So anyways, play with it, enjoy it, and um, don't just limit yourself to the instructions that Stampin' Up! gives you. They're awesome. If you want to limit yourself to that, that's absolutely fine because they're really cute projects. But you have so many other alternatives. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.